Right. So what we're going to do now is hear your orbital rejuvenation and redensity too. This is Christina. She's 24 years old and she's never had any filler before. If a patient has never had any filler before, I always want to show them what fillers look like. Okay, so Christina, this is just a little filler. Kind of a few bags. It's nice and soft. Okay, so I always keep all the leftover filler, not to use it on a patient, but to demonstrate it. Especially if a patient has never had filler before, I let them have a feel so that they understand that even if they see one or two lumps, it's not the end of the world. It can be flattened. Can you see that? And, and the, the lumps, if you get any lumps at all, which are unlikely, in two weeks' time it will disappear anyway. Okay, so nothing to do with Okay, this is the cannula. It's one and a half inch long. And what I'm going to do is one here and then one there like that, okay? And usually I sit them forward as much as possible. And if I could ask uh, Christina to look up for me, just look up towards the ceiling, yeah, yeah. Can you see it's accentuates that, all right? And nice and relaxed from the now. And another thing I would point out to Christina is, and that's just from experience, again, I won't poke your eye, okay? There's a little bit of puffiness here, there that can be mistaken as filler. So I would always point it out to patients. I usually have a big handheld mirror. I get them to hold on to the handheld mirror and I will point out all these different things to them because you don't want them to come back in two to three weeks time and tell you you've injected filler there. And you think, oh my God, I have done that. And you try to dissolve it and it's not. May I ask you a question? Of course, yes. How do you determine the median point where it is sort of uh, the lower median point, the entry. Oh, um, it's the length of the cannula. I'll keep my down for me now. So this one is a cannula, and it's the length of the cannula here. But the angle, depending on the... It's the angle of the tear trough. Mm -hmm. You follow the, the path of the tear trough. That's how we go to. Thank you. 